Mega Colony, I'm sorry, but you, you're you definitely feels bad. I, I know there have been a lot of people who've been trying to me Mega Colony work for a while, but like, truth be told, Mega Colony is kind of just struggle straight, no matter which way you look at it. They just don't have a lot going for them. So yeah, I kind of have to take that back because holy fucking shit. If last weekend's results weren't anything to go off of, fuck, I underestimated Order Mega Colony. So, my initial takeaway on this deck, when I looked at it initially for the tier list, was that it wasn't really all that hyped. But then we actually start to, like, look and delve even deeper into it, right? And that's when you realize this deck is an absolute fucking problem. Um, the orders that you can run in this deck are very self-explanatory. And honestly, like, Order Mega Colony doesn't need much. They legit need one or, one or like, a few orders, and that's it. The, only, the one that came in first only ran two orders. But the draw three and give three units plus ten was more than enough. Same thing with the Veil. Like, just having a toolbox to just sit there and go, okay, bad, I could stall out until I go into the Gradora stride and ruin you. And it is, it's so consistent. Like, you've got the Shadow Cloak that searches for the order. You have the Grade 3, the, the Fabricated Dragon of Ruination that allows you to activate it without actually paying the cost which is pretty fucking bonkers of a card, now that I think about it. But, like, the rest of the deck is just Mega Colony, just with a little bit of Overdress Spice, and it's honestly really fucking strong. You you have a lot of, like, tech options in the G-Zone, too, outside of just, like, the Great Dora Stride. A lot of really solid G-Guards, either G-Guards that get beefy, or G-Guards that just continue to get even more beefy. And it's honestly absolutely nasty. On top of that, you still have Opterantis in case you feel like you need to go into it. Overwhelm in case you need more drive checks. I just, this deck is absolutely insane. Like, again, under any normal circumstance, if this was like a best of three scenario, it would not do us well because by, by the first set game, you would already figure out how to play against this, right? But I think for a lot of people, this is their first time going up against Order Mega Colony, and which is, and considering that the Bushwar events are always best of one, yeah, a deck like that is gonna probably throw people off. Like, I can see why so many people brought this into the into the event this past weekend. And this only just makes me wonder how much further people are actually going to take it, because... Oh my god, like... I don't even, like... My god, this deck is so stupid! On top of that, like I predicted in the video, you also had every single top four team had a Nightmare Doll user in there. So either way, if you want to do well, you have to have a Nightmare Doll player. And it also seems like that, at least for this tournament, you also needed an Order Mega Colony player to also be in there, just to throw people off. And it's, this deck, you know, really does a lot of toolboxing. It does a lot of things that just kind of just go off and not really care. Oh, this deck is absolutely nasty. Like, it's really just hard to, like, describe other than that. Like... Anytime you feel like you're gonna have an advantage, this deck just sits there and constantly reminds you, screw you, for trying to play the game. And on top of all of that, this guy, the first place player, was running the GBA. I don't think the guy ever used it, unless someone wants to correct me in the comments section, but just the fact that you have such a strong win condition in the form of Gradora. And you really don't have to really try. And if you feel like you're losing, you still have access to the progenitor anyway. Like, my god. This deck is absolutely nasty. And it's... I'm scared to have to go up against this. God dang, like... <laughs> this deck is absolutely stupid. Like... 
let me put this in just in terms of context for those of you who've been playing the game long enough. This is like borderline Chaos Breaker levels of bad from like set 13 in the original game. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is such a sleeper pick at first, but then you sit there and you think about it and you realize all the tech options and it's like, fuck, this deck is absolutely nasty. Because if it goes off, and it will, because unless you're fortunate enough to have this thing end up in the damage zone, you're kind of screwed. You know, it, 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 this deck, like, true, they could probably whiff all the searching for the right grade 3, but considering how often you're going to fucking search in this deck, I doubt that's even going to be possible. And even if it is, eventually they're going to get it. And when they do, uh, you're going to be crying. It's that good. It's that strong. And I... I don't know. Especially when you consider the new Mega Colony Stride that just got revealed. I don't know. This may be a deck that they may have to, you know, keep an eye out for to possibly put on the next ban list. Because I... It, it's so strange of me to say it now. Like, and I... You know, I haven't even faced it yet, but I can just tell from the deck choices and the overall design of the, you know, of their deck, it's a threat. And I think people need to start picking apart it if they haven't already, because if not, uh, you're going to be like every other player who's faced against this deck and probably just get wrecked. So yeah, this is definitely one deck I'm going to have to learn how to play against, <laughs> uh, because, oh my god. This is painful. I'm gonna hate every fucking second of it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this because this really shocks me. Now again, it could just be for this event in particular that Order Mega Colony takes off. But then what if it isn't? What if this deck starts actually picking up steam enough to a point where it actually, you know, shoots up above, like, let's say the Highlander Bermuda bullshit, which really didn't show up at all at this event, apparently. I don't know. You guys t let me know in the comment section. Like, th this is absolutely insane. <laughs> uh, but yeah, until next time, this is Noah, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!